Today, I'll be showing you guys the easiest way to record Roblox for free with no lag using OBS Studio. As always, first thing you want to do is click on the first link in my description, come over to this website, choose your operating system, and click Download Installer. Once you've downloaded OBS Studio, ignore the configuration wizard and click Cancel. To get started, let's first click on Settings. First tab we want to go to is Output, and over here on the Output mode, we want to change this from Simple to Advanced. Once we have done that, click on Recording, and this is where all your recordings will save into. So here we can click Browse and choose a folder that we want to store our recordings into. For our recording format, we can go MKV or Fragmented MP4, but we don't want to go MP4 as you do have a chance of losing a one hour file. For your video encoder, you want to go for either your CPU video encoder or your GPU video encoder. Personally, if you have a GPU encoder, you would want to go for your GPU, so I'm going to choose H.264. Now you want to scroll down to Encoder Settings and change your rate control to CQP. Down here for your CQ level, I'd say 24 to 23 is the sweet spot. However, if you're using X264, I'd recommend you to use CRF and choose 2324 as well. For the keyframe interval, just keep this as 0, however for the preset, depending on how much your PC can handle, you can change this to best or lowest quality. So obviously I want the best quality, so I'll be going for the slowest option. Tuning quality, I want that as high. Multipass mode, I'll use the two passes. Profile, high. Psycho visual tuning, I'll keep that on. GPU 0 and max B frames to 2. Next, we're going to move on to the audio tab. There's nothing much to do here except for changing every single track's audio bitrate to 320. For the audio, you want to keep this to 48 kilohertz and change the channels to stereo. Moving on to global audio devices, for our desktop audio, we want to change this to whatever keeps sound coming out of your device. For me, I don't have speakers, so I'm going to use default or I could go with my headset. For mic and auxiliary audio, we can choose the microphone that you're listening to right now. Moving on to our video tab, we want to set our base resolution to whatever resolution your monitor is. For me, I'm using a 1920x1080 monitor, so I'm going to choose that for my base resolution. And for your output scaled resolution, you want to select the same resolution, which is 1920x1080. For your FPS value, you want to set this to 60, unless you for some reason want a FPS value lower than 60. In our advanced mode here, there isn't really much to change here except for your color space. You want to keep this to Rec 709 because most computers can handle that. And also down here in our recordings tab, we want to turn on this option to automatically remux to MP4. Now that we've done everything in the settings, but I still have a black screen. I want to record Roblox, but how are we going to do that? Well, to do that, first thing you want to do is create a scene by clicking this plus button and naming your first scene. Let's name this Roblox scene. Click OK, and now we're inside of our Roblox scene. Under our Roblox scene in our Sources tab over here, click on the plus menu and click on Display Capture. You can name this whatever you want or click OK and head right into it. For our capture method, you want to click Automatic and choose the display or the monitor that is displaying your Roblox. So for me, I am not using my primary monitor and it's on this monitor, so I'm going to click that and it will automatically show my screen. To move on to our second method of recording, we're going to hide our first display capture by clicking the eyeball button. Again, click on the plus button, now we're going to move on to the game capture. Click OK, and next to mode, you're going to click on the capture specific window button. Next to window, you're going to choose the Roblox window. Click OK, but you're going to notice that you actually don't get our normal display capture that we're usually getting. Instead, we're getting this weird red square in the corner of our screen. In order to fix that, unfortunately, we're going to have to download the Roblox app version, which will be linked in the description so check that out anyways once you've downloaded that click on the plus button window capture okay and go to capture window and click on roblox windows 10 official now as you can see we have gotten our roblox open using the app and not the website version 
But now once you're recording, you might notice some gaps along the screen which you can't really fix by scaling the size of the video because it really crops in a lot when you try to scale it up. And nobody wants a big crop on their screen when recording a video, right? So in order to fix this, you want to click on your video, right click on the video, click on transform, and click stretch to screen. Or you can just click Control S on your keyboard. Now as you can see, Roblox has been successfully fit to my screen and there are no black gaps in between it. Now that we're basically done with everything, we can click start recording in order to start recording our video. So here I've brought over my original OBS to start recording and once you've started recording, you'll see the stop recording button and you'll also see this button. So here once I've started recording and said all of the things I need to do, I can head over to my OBS here and either click stop recording or click the pause button. So the reason the pause button might be useful is let's say you're playing like a game and you need like a little bit of a break. Let's say you don't want two video files, you can just click the pause button and unpause later and it'll fit all of your recordings with a little pause in the middle into one file. Once you're done recording, you can just click stop recording and it will save into whatever file destination that you have chosen earlier. So yeah, if this video has helped you out in any way, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below, and I'll see you guys in another video. Goodbye, guys.